Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to do a little like update video or whatever today. You guys haven't like seen any of the footage yet. It's going to be all in the video. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys the progression. I think it's like six months worth of string of props footage since I started this whole string of propagation situation experiment that I did. I don't know what I'm even calling it yet, but Anyways, um, I want to show you guys some updates, some old footage that I started and I thought I was going to make into a video and then I didn't. So let me go get those plants so I can show y'all all the new growth. So I started all these little butterfly method propagations and I wanted to remove the plastic with you all. So it has been covered the entire time since starting all the propagations and you can see like they are ready to bust out. So... I'm gonna uncover them with you all here today. So a lot of the times I have just seen people sell them like as cutting. So you would get like one long strand of a string of hearts and then it's like, okay, what do I do with this? I have this like one long strand of a plant and to me that's just not that much fun to keep alive. Like I would just rather have a big full bushy plant to care for. So what I decided to do was take all of my string of thing propagations and I wanted to experiment and make full pots of them and it worked. So I wanted to show you guys the footage when I started it and then hopefully I can do like a little side by side situation. So when I started it, I was obviously just little butterfly propagations. The butterfly propagation method is just taking a single node and like two leaves and laying it down in the soil and then it will grow roots from there's like little tiny nodes. You can barely see them in these. All right, so this first one, I think this is just a regular string of hearts. I thought that I might have like the silver glory or whatever, but I don't think that's what this one is. So yeah, but I only had like a little tiny strand of it and that's why I wanted to do this method because I wanted a fuller pot instead of one long strand. So there is going to be a few dead leaves. You can see down here there are dead leaves and that's totally normal. You are not going to have a 100% success rate nine times out of ten when propagating anything. So don't like feel like you're doing anything wrong just because something's died. So this one does need a little bit of water but you can see here we have already got strands like multiple strands. I actually don't think this one was my full-on butterfly propagated method. I think this one I actually laid a bunch of the strands around in a circle, but on those strands there are new growth. So right in here you can see all these new little leaves popping out. So all those will eventually make their own like growth points and it can produce a fuller plant, but it is going to take a lot more time for that. But you can see that this method does work, just laying the string of things in the soil with the nodes facing down and like the hearts facing upward. You can see here this one is flipped over so you want it to be like that. But it, it won't stay unflipped. So I just taped it with some saran wrap all the way around the planter and I bottom water these just because it's easier that way. You don't have to keep taking the... Um, saran wrap on and off to check the moisture levels and I also just wait for it to be like super light as a feather is what I like to say and the saran wrap is what keeps the humidity in and it's what helps it not dry out too fast because when it comes to like propagating stuff like this there isn't much room for air when it comes to them drying out too much or even being over watered you could lose them very easily that way so if you let them dry out too much and then you go to water them expecting it to be a-okay afterwards nine times out of ten you are probably going to lose the plant and most of those propagations are going to become mushy and soggy it's just it's just how it works i don't really know why and i'm not really about to try to figure it out so in order to prevent it like drying out super fast like literally you would have to check it every single day if you didn't cover it with saran wrap that's what i'm saying just stick some saran wrap on it set it and forget it and you will have a nice full plant in no time and that is what we have here with these guys i'm gonna go ahead and take off the saran wrap on these as well and i have them like taped down as well so it stayed on better wow so you can see here, this one is definitely a nice full bushy plant. It will obviously trail eventually, but for now, it hasn't really had room to like 
let itself out of the pot, but it can. So that is like the perfect starter plant right here. And um, there are, again, I didn't do like butterfly prop method for every single like propagation in here, but I, so I did add like a few strands or whatever just because I don't have the patience to butterfly propagate all of them. And yeah, it looks so good. I kind of want to leave the saran wrap on because now I'm going to have to pay attention to them. All right, so this one, I don't even, I think that one was the string of arrows. I don't know. I think this is just a regular string of hearts. No, this is my string of daggers or arrows or something. Maybe this one is too. Maybe they're the same. I don't even know. They might be the same exact plant. So again, we have some strands growing as well. And it is becoming a nice full pot. Also a perfect starter plant. These honestly were such like low maintenance to care for. I was losing the majority of these plants when they were just like one long string. So that's why I decided to like chop it all up and propagate it and make a fuller plant out of it, which I'm so happy I did because they look so much better now, you guys. It might have taken quite some time for me to achieve this. Like six months isn't a, isn't a short amount of time, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I mean, it worked. So it is achievable. And this one is my variegated string of hearts. This one I think is the one that I really did the butterfly prop method with like the majority of them because you can see so many little teeny like baby leaves coming in down there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but I can see it. And this one is just like extremely full and so many little like new growth points. So I'm pretty sure this is like the main one I did the butterfly propagation method with. So you can do the butterfly method. You could just snip them and cut off a few leaves and put it in some water to propagate, but you have to keep an eye on the water levels. I also found that they're just so delicate. They would get caught on things super easily and like get ripped out of the water or they would just turn to mush very easily if I didn't check the water levels like enough. So I don't really prefer to water propagate string of things. I really like to just give them lots of humidity and stick them in some soil and let them kind of figure themselves out and produce a nice full plant. I do have a more in-depth video on how to propagate string of things. I will link it up here as well as down below in the description if you guys did want to check that one out. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys it can be done. Where, where these started and where they are now. It can be done, it can be accomplished, and it is super easy. And I think you guys should all try it out. And if I can do it, you can definitely do it too. If you guys try out this method, let me know. What is your favorite method of propagating string of things? Or are you just not a fan of string of things? I am becoming a non-fan of them just because of how hard they are to untangle and stuff and they are easily snaggable and stuff like that and they're just kind of like I don't know it used to be like one of my favorite plants of all times and now honestly you guys it's just the untangling them is no fun honestly honestly if you did make it this far in the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It helps the channel out so much. And subscribe if you're not already. I would love to have you here on the plant channel. And that's it, y'all. I don't know what else to talk about today. So that is going to be all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I post daily stories, especially on Instagram. They're not always plant related, though, so I understand if you don't really care. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out and I will see you in the next one. Bye! So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys learned a little something or maybe have the courage to propagate some string of things for yourself. And let me know if you do. Head over to my Instagram and TikTok. Follow me over there and tag me in anything if you do decide to propagate them. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye! This is for you. Yeah. yeah. Got a smile, got me waiting for the weekend. Couple texts, spend a check, tell her, bring a friend. She got a taste on her lips like a sweet blend. Leaving work early just to see you again. Like I got somebody, let them all know, like a blue confetti.